<laughs> no, you should probably like do something. Good morning. This is our Sunday. This is tea. <laughs> we had coffee this morning. It's a little cold. Um, we yesterday we thought we were gonna go pick grapes at a vineyard. Um, that Matthew works at, but we ended up not having to do that. So we slept in, and we're doing major planning stuff today, which is nice. So this is our setup. <laughs> we kind of took over the table. No one else was here to use it. Yeah, nobody else is here, which is kind of nice. It's quiet day. I, I think Marie might be out doing cheese. I don't know, she's been kind of popping in every now and then. So I don't know if she's around, she might be. Yeah, I don't know. Just sitting here with tea and internet. It's raining again. Imagine that. I really hope it's done in a, about a half hour so we can go feed the goats. Or maybe we'll just wait for it to stop. I think that's a good idea. Some of them are really friendly. Like this. She just wants to get petted. Aww. Oh, there's a big one. Luckily, he's kind of scared of us. So we don't have to worry about him. Hi. <laughs> oh. It's been raining a lot here. I think, well, the first Friday we were here, we had to stop working on Friday. Because... It was pouring. Well, it was like drizzling, but constant drizzling. Then last weekend it definitely rained, Thursday and Friday. This morning it rained a little bit. Yeah, it's not so cold today though, which is kind of nice. But on the bright side, I think winter kind of stepped back a little bit. It's going to hold off a little more. Because it's been less freezing. I mean, it's still cold, but it's not, it's not like or my hands are numb. So that's good. <laughs> yeah. So I might actually be warm enough until Paris. Spreading manure in the garden again. We're getting, we actually are making these beds. Aaron and I planted all of these little lamb's ears. And we put the tile down and we put hay down and now I have to put manure. I'm actually not sure where Aaron is right now. I have no idea. But this is their little garden. They grow chilies and tomatoes and leeks, I think. Today is the same old, same old. Um, we just did the goats in the morning. I'm going into the cheese room probably to wash stuff. Not really sure yet. Um, the guys aren't here today, so we won't have a big lunch to make. But this is the thing that he's building. Dad, um, yeah, big house, like our garage, yeah, one more week of working here, and then we're on to Paris. The goats are not eating the grain. We have no idea why. Usually they attack it, but nobody's touching it. I mean, they're sniffing it. I don't think I've seen anyone take a bite. This is really weird. Really weird. Also, funny story that Matthew just told me. Um, yesterday, somebody forgot to close the door between the, the goats thing and the milk room. And so the goats came into the milk room and they ate all the grain and then they went back to their little stall. So now they're very, wor very worried that like someone's gonna get really sick because they ate a lot of grain. That's a new one for them. Pack one goat, and the other goat comes up behind to nibble on your jacket. <laughs> Double T big B. So 
have to put in per to perspective the like sizes over here. This is a reasonable amount of dessert mm -hmm. in that little cup. Mm -hmm. We had we had ice cream out of these bowls. Not these bowls. This little one. They're probably about a cup, like measurements wise. The those little, little ones? Those little ones? No. They're less than a cup? No, quarter cup. Pull it up again. Oh, I would say half. Half. Okay. There's, the point is that they're small. And this is regu a regular coffee cup. I mean, like, not regular, it's an espresso cup, but this is how they regularly drink coffee. Like if you just go and order coffee at a cafe or something, that's... We've, the one in Narok we've been going to is... They give you big coffees. We're I mean, not ordering espresso. That's true. If you order, like, a latte or a cappuccino or something, then they make them uh, a little bigger. I'm making cheese. <laughs> Hi. What else do I say? <laughs> Seems to be like another lazy day today. Um, Matthew left with the kids about what time is it? About oh, two hours ago. He didn't tell us where he was going or when he was going to be back. And I haven't heard or seen Marie since we've been up. I'm guessing she's at the market. I mean, oh, that's probably true. She's at the market right she'll now. She'll be at the market right now, so she'll be back in like an hour. But I feel like. I wonder if they went apple picking. Maybe but the apple picking didn't implicitly imply us. Marie said that, and I don't know. I don't know. I don't it's know. been really weird because they just sort of leave and they don't tell us when they're coming back. And like, I mean, I'm okay with that, but yeah, it's no, just it's kind of like uh, we don't know where our hosts are. It would just be nice to know. I mean, like last night dinner was like an hour and a half later than usual because they were out somewhere, and then the grandparents showed up with the kids. And then they came home like a while later, and then we ate. So just like little things like that that we don't exactly know what's going on all the time. No. But oh well. That's okay. Be I mean, if they come home with apples, I'm good, because then we I'm, can bake something. Yeah, yeah. Could handle that. We'll make another pie. Oh. So we're doing planny stuff. This week has been like massive planny stuff. So change in perspective, because Laura's memory card got full. You were saying? What? You were saying? Um, this week has been massive planning week. Um, because we have five different pit places in the next yep. two weeks. Six. Six. Well. Six different places that we're staying in the next two weeks, and we don't know where we're sleeping yet. So, it's kind of an issue. Um. We know one of them. Yeah, we, well, we bought a hostel in London. Which, which is good. we found it, it's less than nine euros a night. For reference, that's probably like twelve dollars or so. Which is, that's really, really good. Paris, I've been finding, everything's going to be about 20 euros a night, so that gives you a perspective of... So eight is pretty, pretty darn good for that. Mm -hmm. And um, it includes breakfast. Includes breakfast. Which, nice. from what I've read, may or may not actually be much of anything. Yeah, well. Oh, well. <laughs> um, and then Paris, Paris, we're trying to get one. We are there on Wednesday, so we probably should buy one this weekend. We're going to. <laughs> yeah, we're going to buy one tomorrow if we can't get one. Um... Aaron got a couch surfer in Leeds, which is pretty awesome. He he messaged 20 couch surfers in one night. Literally 20. I counted exactly 20 of them. Of couch surfers. And the and one who got back to us saying yes was the very first one that I messaged. Yeah. But we have somewhere to stay in Leeds, which is nice. Um, then you just did Bristol, right? You finished I just sent out Bristol? third round of Bristol. Third round of Bristol. And if we don't hear back from them... We might buy Within them this like, weekend, or we might buy them in Paris. We're not really sure yet. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm doing some looking at like other places to stay in in Bristol, but they're not they're not cheap. So we'll see how that turns out. 
And then our goal for this weekend, well, Aaron's goal for this weekend, is to couch surf Edinburgh and Belfast and get options there. Yep. So I know where we're sleeping. And do some more planning for those kind of things and figure out what we're doing there. Because I did, I did London. But I have to open this map and show you because it is pretty darn impressive. It's pretty cool. This is our map of London. I have mapped out the places that we're going to go. I mean, it's not, like, restrictive. If we're just like, I don't feel like going there, we're just not going to do it. But mapped out the places that we want to go. And it's color-coded by day. And I even sorted out, like, it makes more sense to do it in this order just because of where things are. So and I'm I'm pretty impressed with myself on that one. <laughs> and our plans for London include, you know, all the you know major ones, Big Ben, London Eye, everything. Those Plus, kind of things. we're going to see a show, hopefully. We're going to get rush tickets to see a theater show. Um, and we're going to a Hindu temple, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And we're going to try to get to Bengala Town. Like, it's they like have... Chinatown, but it's like... Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Which is cool. Yeah. And we're going to Chinatown, but and, you know. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. And we have, like, you know, an evening walking through Hyde Park, which is a big thing. And, like, just all of these different things. I was looking around on, like, things to do in London, and this temple popped up. And, like, so, Laura, I have this thing that's, like, pretty outside of London, but I think it might be worth going to. It's just, just like, what? And, like, it's a Hindu temple? Just like, yes, yeah. we, we have to go to that. <laughs> can you can it work? Can we make that work? So we made that work. Yeah. Okay. So that's our day. But, yeah, this week has been really kind of boring. It really has. I mean, we do the exact same thing every day. <laughs> Feed the goats. Water the goats. Clean up after the goats. Go to the cheese room. Make cheese or clean up from cheese. Make lunch. Eat lunch. Sometimes there's a break in there. Work in the garden. Feed the goats. Eat. Go to bed. Yep. Every day. In that order. Yep. It's been uh, really, really exciting. should be jealous that we've gotten to see what's going on here and you haven't. <laughs> you really are not... Mi like, seriously, believe me when I say that we are. you are not missing much. <laughs> yeah. No. But we'll oh be well. in Paris in a week, so... We'll be in Paris in, like, four days. Yeah. Ah... Uh, that's our task for, for the weekend, is to find a place to sleep. <laughs> Eek. Four days. We made cookie dough. Aaron wanted to make snickerdoodles, but then we couldn't find sugar. But then he found sugar! But then we couldn't find baking soda? Powder. Powder. Or vanilla. Or vanilla. See, I originally wanted to make chocolate chip cookies, but then I was like, there's no way they're going to have chocolate chips, because I think that's a very America thing. So we ended up with this. Yeah. That's it's, all we could find. Uh, it's sugar and flour and butter and cinnamon and a couple splashes of soy milk. And it's delicious. Last two days on the goat cheese farm. And since our parents are asking for more videos, um, this is what we did this morning. We sorted wood. Um, I think Aaron said that Matthew's trying to organize this, but I don't think we're a part of that. We just started the wood. I cleaned cheese molds for about two hours, and Aaron cleaned the milk room. That's what we did this morning. That's why we don't video all of it. <laughs> um, oh, the kids are off school for like two weeks. They have like a break, and they just left for the ocean. So I didn't get to say goodbye to them, and we won't be able to get a family photo with them, which is really disappointing, but we'll figure something out. We found the pigs. Kind of. I mean, we found one. They got them on... Yesterday. Yesterday. I, I didn't even know. At dinner last night, they... <laughs> it was just like, we have, we have these two big pigs. <laughs> that was a big deal to her. Oh, I hear him. We were in the oh, basement. Oh, they're coming to see us. We were in the basement okay. all day yesterday, and we didn't... I, I had no idea. They got pigs. Oh, hey, look. There's the pig. There's two of them. There they're they are. really kind of big and ugly. Yeah, their ears are, like, hanging in front of their face. Hi, oh, pigs. Like, come over here so we can get a better view. 
Oh, there they are. Last day on the farm. Last day. Yay. It's always kind of a, a bittersweet leaving somewhere. Because, like, I mean, you're always the first to be to move on to wherever you're going next. But at the same time, like, it's not that I need to be away from here. No. No, it's been really fun. Yeah. Tomorrow, we catch a bus. Still don't know which bus, but we know we're gonna catch it. Um, to Agen, and then we take a train to Paris. For a week. That should be easy. Piece of cake. Like, <laughs> our last, considering our last day, was bus, train, plane, train, bus. Car. Car. Like, this is nothing. I called them. I don't know if it had anything to do with it, but like we were standing here, and I went, hey pigs, and they both came running. Oh my gosh, they've eaten like all of this. It was dense when we tried to whack through it. It's crazy. I don't know how they're eating the spiky vines. It must hurt. So the goats really didn't want us to leave. And so <laughs> we just got down here and she was up there. No, you should probably like do something. I don't Okay, to I need to like open a door or I something. Well, no, I didn't, we have to figure out how she's getting down from here. So it's a good thing Matthew went down to check on the pigs right then. Cause we were able to get him and he just came over and he pushed her right back in. Just pushed her over the goats. I yeah. I don't know how she didn't get poked by one of their horns. She probably did. Probably did. I think they're hungry. Are we good to put it in? Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, hello. Don't eat me. Um, yeah, I eat some 